up, Jaguars? Mr. Sabinetti here, coming at you, uh, pre-recorded for our first and hopefully last ever Remote Athletic Awards Banquet. Um, I'm gonna be looking at my computer screen, so this probably uh, is not gonna be super refined. Uh, it's gonna be a little raw, but uh, we're gonna try our best to get through this, and um, I hope that you all enjoy. So, for those of you tuning in, uh, welcome. Despite the fact that we're all in quarantine, uh, because of COVID-19, that doesn't mean that we cannot recognize the importance uh, of the efforts and achievements of our student athletes during the fall and winter season of 2019-2020. Once again, our school excelled and our students worked hard and cohesively to capture a variety of titles and hardware. I'd like to take a few minutes uh, to recognize some of the very best moments in Polanyi sport. So first off, our boys varsity volleyball team had a near perfect season with a record of 7-1. They dominated their opponents in the playoffs, uh, and in the finals, defeated George Vanier in two straight sets to become the Tier 2 North Region champs. Congrats, guys. Um, our senior boys outdoor soccer team had a stellar regular season, uh, winning more than two games uh, for the first time in years. Believe me, that's a big achievement. Uh, and actually made the playoffs for the first time uh, in four years. So congrats, guys. Um, on that note, the resurrected uh, senior boys soccer team uh, had a near-perfect indoor season losing only their first game. Um, they then came together and outworked all their opponents to become North Region champs. Finally, they continued to dominate the competition and on Thursday, March 12th, 2020, one day before the quarantine, uh, they captured the title of city champions defeating North Toronto. So congratulations, guys. Uh, another great achievement is our girls senior volleyball team played tier one ball this year, had a great season and worked their way into the regional semifinals. Uh, despite a tough loss, they competed for AA school glory uh, and ended up ranking third overall in all the AA schools in the city. So once again, congratulations, ladies. That's fantastic. Uh, keep in mind that this is only a snapshot uh, of the victories, big or small, that were attained by our students and uh, their peers. I'm sure that you'll hear a lot more from our presenters. It's also very important to note that none of this could have happened without the support of our amazing coaches uh, and staff supervisors. Without them, athletics could not exist. Thank you for your time, wisdom, and infinite patience. On behalf of myself, the phys ed department, and the entire student body, we thank you. Finally, an athletic event would not be the same without recognizing uh, the efforts of our athletic council. Thank you for your time, effort, and enthusiasm uh, in keeping your fellow students connected through sports and physical activity. Now, before we get to the good stuff, uh, I've, got a, I've got to have a little bit of disclaimer. Um, Please know uh, for all of our Athletic Awards winners that we are working hard to get you your trophies and plaques ready. Okay, they will be available uh, for pickup once classes resume in the 2020-2021 school year, so stay tuned. All right, enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Enjoy Jaguars, take care. What's up Jaguar clan, Coach Sura here, here to talk about the uh, 2019 cross country season. Um, always a fun time for me, I really enjoy coaching that squad. Uh, cross country is obviously not for everybody, it takes a lot of uh, guts, determination, uh, you know, you have to uh, push yourself like you've never pushed before, uh, on top of, you know, what could be terrible bouts of weather, uh, extreme heat, um, but it, it really uh, builds character, I feel. So um, really successful season. Congratulations to everybody. I know it was a small team this year and it was only guys, but hopefully we'll expand in the future. And uh, I think the future still looks bright for JPCI cross country. So the 2019 uh, JPCI cross country team, we're giving the most improved player to Kai Axelrad. Uh, he was a guy who um, never really was too interested in running. Um, but came out, uh, stuck with it, and improved every single time he ran. And I think, uh, I'm pretty sure he's continuing to run right now. And uh, the most valuable uh, runner this year will go to Joshua Marquez, um, because he was clearly our, our best uh, cross-country runner. And uh, he trained really hard, and he led the team, uh, not only with his performances, but also with his uh, attitude and his work ethic. So, uh, good job, cross-country. Outdoor soccer, here we go. Um, incredibly proud of these guys. This was a very, very long season um, and more to come in another video when we talk about the indoor team. But so proud of them, they worked so hard. They had uh, a really good turnout and they really came together uh, as a team. 
uh, particularly when our star goalie was injured towards the end of the season. They, they pulled hard, they supported one another. Um, shout outs uh, to Abit Kakar for stepping into to the role of goaltender uh, for a couple of games and getting, you know, getting us through um, to make playoffs, which we did for the first time in four years. So that's, that's an incredible feat. And uh, I only hope that we can continue that in the future when we do get back to school. Uh, for our outdoor team, there are two MVPs, the first being Khalid Ahmed. Khalid, I've seen grow since uh, grade nine. He's grown as a player, he's grown as a human, um, and he is incredible in the midfield, controlling the pace of the game. So proud of him, so Khalid, congratulations. Uh, our second MVP is Yasser Mohammed. Uh, I think one of the most versatile players that, that I've come across. Um, so dominant on defense, uh, so dominant in the midfield, and uh, a quiet leader. Um, proud of the both of you, congratulations. More to come on indoor, so stay tuned. First, I'd like to start off by thanking the Girls Ultimate Frisbee team for their hard work, dedication, spirit, and heart that they showed at all the games. They were well respected by the other teams that they played against for their determination and stamina. So now I'd like to present the awards for the first one is going to be the most improved player, going to Jennifer Pham, who from last year to this year has shown great improvement and has been a great asset to the team. Thank you, Jennifer. Now for the most valuable player, that's going to go to Grace Fassar, who has been such a great leader of the team, showing great mentorship, enthusiasm, passion, positive attitude, and determination. Thank you, Grace. All right, Jaguars, and now it's time to recognize the Varsity Boys Volleyball Team for 2019. Just to give you a quick recap of our amazing season, we went undefeated in the regular season uh, to advance to the semifinals where we played CW Jefferies and won in two straight sets to advance to the North Region uh, Championship where we versed Georges Vanier and once again dominated them in two straight sets to win gold and take the Tier 2 North Region Championship. Way to go, boys. Now obviously with all that winning and a team of all-stars, it was difficult for me to choose just two athletes to highlight for this year's award recipients. Uh, but it came down to the statistics and looking back at the team stats, there were two players that stood out to me the most. Uh, and those two players play opposite each other as powers. Um, and that word describes them perfectly, both on the court and off the court. They're big powerhouse hitters. Uh, huge powerhouse servers, great overall defensive and offensive players. So this year's award recipients are Francisco Largadas and Jester Garcia. Congratulations boys, well deserved. I am 300 and done. Oh. Hey Jaguars, uh, Coach LaBelle here, just getting in a little bit of uh, no season uh, workout for the rugby team. Um, so let's go back in time a little bit to uh, what was our uh, 2019 fall uh, rugby sevens uh, season. It was an amazing year, we had an amazing team, so many people uh, coming out and new to the game this year. Um, so much dedication to practice and uh, I really couldn't have been prouder of the progress that we made for both the boys and the girls who came out. Unfortunately, we didn't have a full girls team this year, but we did have a full boys team uh, and we were competitive and were able to um, compete uh, with uh, lots of other schools and win some games and a couple tournaments. And uh, really, I think we had a really great time and we improved our, uh, our level of rugby playing and uh, that's really what it's all about for us. So let's, uh, let's get down to the awards, shall we? Um, all right, so uh, our first uh, recipient, uh, and I couldn't be happier, uh, 
new to the sport this year, really advanced to, to being quite a competitive rugby player. Uh, our winner for the most improved player is uh, Robin Jessamay. And uh, congratulations, Robin. Um, so I, I, please accept this uh, weight as your trophy for improvement. Um, you know, because it takes a lot of effort to improve and uh, you can only get better by working. So keep working out, keep improving, and you're going to be a really great athlete and a great rugby player. Uh, we don't give a most valuable player award for rugby. I know I say this at every banquet, but really our team, everybody is valuable on a rugby team and there is no one person who's more valuable, but there are people who inspire us. Um, and honestly, this young man uh, has been an inspiration to me and his, his, the way he's played since grade nine for us has been always, other players are always in awe of his ability to play some really hard nose, right in your face rugby. And that sets an example for the rest of our team, uh, both in practice and in gameplay. Uh, male or female, I think everybody on the team looks up to the way this young gentleman plays his game and that is Hans Beresel. So congratulations, Hans. Just let me go get your trophy for you. I just have it back here on the shelf. Give me one sec. So uh, I can't give you this trophy in, in real life, but uh, you can see that this is actually one of my trophies from when I was in high school, and it is uh, actually for rugby as well. So congratulations to Hans all of the players a special shout out to the girls who played this year um, we would really like to see more girls playing rugby so any of you guys who are thinking please join us and um, here's to hans and robin congratulations to both of you hey jpci this is miss jacobs here i have a quick message for the girls basketball team starting off with a few words from coach chris he would like to thank all the girls who showed up for practice. He fears that without you, there may have not been a team. Sholtu, our most improved player. He promises to train you harder next season and also train all your teammates to lead for success in the future. Jada, our MVP, what an awesome season you had. Throughout the season, there were some challenges, there were some laughs, but Coach Chris believes the, the spirit of the season was not in the win or the losses, but the journey from the tryouts to the final game. Congratulations. And just a quick message from me. It was awesome to watch each of you play. You were resilient and worked well as a team. And I hope that you are continuing to be resilient and in positive spirits during these difficult times. Go Jaguars. I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations, Sholtu and Jada. What's up, Jaguars? Mr. Lee here, talking to you about the Alpine Skiing Team. We had a short but sweet season in the 2019-2020 Alpine Skiing Season, uh, but we had a great turnout with the uh, largest number of team members ever before at the JPCI Alpine Skiing and Snowboard Team. Uh, so, just to talk to you about the diligence of one particular individual, showing up for the practices, as well as dedicating himself to make sure that he's improving in his times and his racing skills. Uh, the most improved player of the year goes to Jonathan Chang. Congratulations, buddy. Next, we have our MVP, most valuable player. This is a great ambassador to the sport. Uh, he competes at a high level in the snowboard cross and you'll know him as a great ambassador to the snowboarding sport because of his super chill and relaxed attitude and super friendly nature. That goes to Joseph Perkis. Congratulations. Stay strong and stay safe, Jaguars. What's up, Jaguars? Coach Sura here to speak about the Junior Boys basketball team. Um, always a pleasure to be involved with that squad and that sport. So obviously, I'm a huge fan. Um, Coach Lawton and I um, had a great time with you guys. I, I think there were a lot of laughs, a lot of great memories, um, a lot of growth, a lot of character building, a lot of camaraderie, and I think the future of JPCI basketball looks very, very bright. Um, tough loss to finish the year, uh, you know, tough uh, loss against um, McKenzie to get us to that point, but, uh, you know, losing to the number one seed in the East, Sir Johnny McDonald, by uh, 
only two points in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, tough pill to swallow, but that just shows how strong our program is and, and where we're heading. Um, I hope you guys are all well. I hope you guys are still working on your game um, while staying safe. Um, the uh, most improved player this year is gonna go to uh, Joshua Lake Gonzalez. Um, he was a guy who was a uh, rock all year long, uh, very coachable, uh, listening to whatever we had to offer him and um, giving his best effort every single, every single day, every single game. Uh, and our MVP, we wouldn't have gotten as far as, as uh, we did without him. Um, you know, our court leader, you know, always the guy to go to for a bucket when we needed it, get this bee out of my face, <laughs> is uh, Cena Ehrman. So um, I hope you guys are all well. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, being involved with basketball again next year. Go Jaguars. Coach Sura here to talk about the uh, JPCI senior basketball season uh, this past fall. Um, a huge pleasure to be uh, around you guys as always. Um, I know the, the commitment uh, wasn't where we wanted it to be, but um, still a lot of positive memories and uh, still a lot of good times. And I know that myself and, and Coach Lawton were really proud of you guys. And um, we, we did uh, see a lot of improvements throughout the year. So a tough season that passed, but um, some, some high notes, especially um, the win at Newtonbrook um, was the one that I remember. So I hope everyone's healthy and well and is still working on their games. Um, the most improved player is going to go to Derek Choi. Um, he's a guy who um, was, you know, never missed a practice, constantly working on his game, listening to whatever the coaches had to offer, and he always came ready to compete and uh, gave us some, some hard quality minutes whenever he got on the floor. And our uh, MVP, uh, no question, was uh, Newtush Dixon. Um, you know, his uh, leadership, his uh, ball control, um, his court vision, um, you know, lifting players up, you know, giving us the, the, the hard buckets that we needed, you know, playing good defense um, whenever we needed as well. Um, just, just a great court leader and a great uh, captain to have on the team this year. So congratulations to both those guys and uh, I hope everyone is well and I'm gonna miss uh, all you guys, especially the seniors that were graduating this year, and, uh, and I'll never forget those memories, fellas. So hope you guys are all well, and uh, Jaguars forever. Hey Jaguars, it's Alicia, your swim coach. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say how much I miss you guys. Uh, I really do. And uh, my good thoughts and energies are being sent out to you and your family's health and well-being. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so today I'm here to present to you the swimming awards for MVP and MIP. Uh, but first, before I do that, I just wanted to hand out an honorary award uh, this, to this young man. Uh, he wore a banana costume to every one of our swim meets and we even have footage of him uh, doing a practice run in the banana costume. So if you were on the team, you already know this award for most appealing athlete goes out to Anthony Hua and this is for you. Uh, so for MIP, uh, this young man has been in my swim class before and you know he's a good swimmer. Um, since joining the team this year, he has, his swim strokes have become truly competitive. Um, not to mention he's a great guy. Uh, so uh, this year, MIP is going to Cesar Navarez. Congratulations, Cesar. Um, MVP, the award for MVP is going to a young man who has also had tremendous improvements in his career, his swimming career at JPCI. Um, I first met this young man uh, in grade nine uh, he did his swim test for me, his deep end test, and in grade nine. And when I, when he first did it, I said to him, "I think I'm gonna keep in the shallow end for now." He quickly graduated to the deep end, and this year in grade 12, um, he is a an athlete who practices to the point of being on the verge of passing out. Um, he also is one of the swimmers who took us to our city championships this year um, and it is my pleasure to present the MVP award to uh, Francisco Brega. So congratulations on that. 
Um, congratulations to all my swim team members. I love you all. Um, I had a fantastic season with you guys and hopefully I will see you soon. Much love. Bye. Indoor soccer, AKA outdoor soccer, the sequel. Taking everything that we learned uh, in the outdoor season, we came together, uh, our goalie, Simone Chiavati, healed up, and we were able to absolutely dominate the indoor circuit for the first time uh, in a very, very long time. North region champs, city champs. It doesn't get much better than that. Um, so proud of, of this team, which we started in September and ended with uh, one day before the quarantine started, so March 12th, um, for coming together, for continuing to fight, for supporting one another every single day, every single game, uh, and for keeping it positive and fun. So, you know, shout outs to all the guys uh, who continue to come out, uh, who supported each other. Uh, as I've said before, I'm so proud of everyone. It's extremely difficult uh, to honor just two people, but like outdoor, uh, I'm going to present two MVPs. The first MVP uh, is Simone Chiavati, our goalie. It cannot be said enough how important he was to our team, uh, especially considering this is his last year, as he will focus next year on scouting opportunities. Um, I do hope to have him back in some sort of assistant coach role, if he'd like, but he was absolutely stellar in, in getting us out of some sticky situations. Uh, such a strong leader, uh, so motivating. So Simone, MVP for you, congratulations. Our second MVP, this is another tough one to make, uh, is gonna go to Yasser Muhammad. Yasser Muhammad in indoor soccer was one of the most versatile players I've ever seen. He dominated in every single position he was in, whether he was on defense, in the mid, playing forward, uh, and was always willing to be put in any position and, and absolutely thrived in it. So congratulations, uh, Yasser. All the best guys. Um, I really do hope that when we get back, we can have another indoor season and, and continue uh, this legacy. Congratulations, guys. This year's curling season was a bit of a challenge. We didn't know whether we were going to have a season, when it was beginning, and what was going to become of it. The teacher's job action made it difficult for scheduling, but we managed to get the season in. It was our best season ever, so we can be thankful for that. This year's recipients of the awards are John Batista for Most Improved Player. We've seen great development in John's game from last year to this year. He was a dedicated player to all the games and practices. Thank you, John. Now for Most Improved or Most Valuable Player, it goes to John Dixon. John's leadership had led the team to the success that it had this year, and John was a great mentor to help developing the other players skills thank you John please don't ask how many times it took to get that I thought about doing the weights but I know Mr. LaBelle is stronger than me so I won't go there hi Jaguars it's Mr. Shaw hope you all are doing well and staying safe during this crazy time um, I'd like to quickly just talk to you about, and I won't take too much of your time, the junior girl volleyball team, which I had the pleasure of coaching last season. We had a great group of girls, uh, so I'd like you all to congratulate yourselves, tap on the back. Uh, we had a great season. We had a rocky start at first, but by the end we were consistently winning sets, so good on you. Uh, there were a few girls that stood out, so I'd quickly like to congratulate and praise Missy Cerezo for grabbing MVP, great teammate, great leader, always showed up ready to learn and ready to perform and it really showed and she was an asset to the team. Uh, I'd also like to praise Ivy Gutiap for snagging most improved player. Ivy started great, but she put the time and effort in and I saw some good things uh, from her by the end of the season. Not only was she a great defensive player with some awesome digs, uh, by the end of the season she was attacking the net for those crucial, crucial attacks. Uh, so good on you girls, well done. Mr. Shaw is proud of you. Um, 
I'd like to end off by saying uh, we're almost at the finish line, guys, so keep up the good work. I know it's been tough with the distance learning, so keep at it. You're almost there. Miss you all. Hope you are doing well. Stay safe, uh, and hopefully by next September we'll be back at it. All right, Jaguars, it's Miss Bernie back again to present to you this year's award recipients for the Senior Girls Volleyball Team. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane to recap the season. The girls played Tier 1 against some of the top schools in the North Region. The girls finished this season in second place to advance to the quarterfinals against George Vanier, where the girls won in two straight sets following in the boys' footsteps. We advanced to the regional semifinals against York Mills, which was a super tight game. We went back and forth winning sets, but unfortunately a couple of ball handling errors and serving errors put us just out of reach out of, of winning. But the season wasn't over and being the highest ranked AA school in the North, we advanced to the city semifinals where we played against Silverthorne. This match went very much like our previous one against York Mills and we ended up losing. However, the silver lining was that we placed third overall in the city for AA Girls Volleyball. So way to go ladies on an amazing season. There were so many amazing players on the team and each with their own unique talents and skill sets that once again I had difficulty choosing this year's award recipients. I decide that two MVPs should be recognized for the 2019-2020 season. The first MVP recipient is not only the captain of the team, but also an extraordinary middle hitter and blocker. She has mad volleyball skills, of which I have not seen at the high school level before. It's magical when she touches the ball. She is an extraordinary athlete and a great team leader who inspires her fellow team members to strive for their personal best. This year's first Senior Girls MVP award goes to Ara Talan. Congratulations. Our second MVP recipient is someone who is also extremely valuable to the team and who we would not been able to make it as far as we did without her. Her role on the team was very specialized in that she was our libero, our backcourt specialist. She has superior agility and reaction time, which led to her amazing digging, diving, and diving skills, and thus our amazing defense. There were so many times where I thought a ball would be unreturnable, but from across the court would come Christine diving to pancake and save the ball. Amazing. And that is why Christine Collado is this year's second MVP for the Senior Girls Volleyball Team. Congratulations. Hey Jaguars, Miss Lee here from the badminton team. Hope you're all doing well. This year's badminton award goes to Tian Trang Hua. Trang has developed exceptional leadership uh, on the team. She continuously motivates her teammates. She always one of the first uh, athletes into the building, helps out the nets, and always one of the last to, to leave and help take, take things down. Um, she is an incredible motivator and an even better uh, badminton player. So congratulations. All right, Jaguars, and now it's time to present the Junior Female Athlete of the Year. With only two seasons under our belt this year before things went awry, I know that many of you ladies were disappointed that we didn't get to the spring season, where you would have played ultimate soccer, flag football, cricket, or co-ed volleyball, but such is life. So, this year's Female Junior Athlete of the Year is Samantha Fortuna. Samantha played on the Ultimate Girls Frisbee team and the Junior Girls Volleyball team. Both of her coaches have duly known that Samantha exhibits all the qualities of a star athlete, including teamwork, dedication to the team, drive for personal improvement, coachability, and a general love for the game. She's got phenomenal agility, reaction time, speed, all which can be attributed to her dedication to working out in our fitness room. Overall, Samantha is crushing it, and she's a dominating force at JPCI. So, congratulations, Samantha Fortuna, on winning Junior Female Athlete of the Year. Woo! -hoo! 
What's up, Jaguars? Uh, Coach Sir here to speak about the uh, overall junior male athlete of the year. Um, really not a difficult decision this year. Um, this is a guy who um, is just a prototypical student athlete. You know, he's a guy who um, listens to all his coaches, never misses practices, um, values academics on top of all this and uh, you know the sky is the limit for um, where athletics will take him um, when he decides really what direction he wants to go so um, the overall junior male athlete of this year is going to uh, Jemai Cooper congratulations man and uh, just don't forget any of us when you're famous go Jaguars Just like the prepared intro, uh, this is another prepared speech. So if you catch me looking off in the distance, I'm just trying to read and uh, not lose my emotions. So here we go. Uh, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about your 2019-2020 Senior Female Athlete of the Year. The one, the only, Grace Brazard. Grace is the face of athletic leadership. She has served as our school's athletic council president for the past two years. Uh, and has done such an incredible job. She always leads by example and works to her fullest capacity in everything she takes on. From our activity days, to daily announcements, to crushing weights in the weight room uh, during her lunch hour. That kind of work ethic is hard to come by and Grace has it in spades. I've had the opportunity of coaching her uh, in Ultimate Frisbee where she was one of our most dominant players. She never quit and furthermore, she would continuously remind me that she was working on her skills uh, in the off season. Sadly, we were unable to have an ultimate Frisbee season this year, but I'm hoping to have her come back as a part of the coaching staff next year. Grace's athletics career has spanned a variety of sports, including curling, and track and field. She was also part of JPCI's first ever female ultimate Frisbee team for the past two seasons. Titles and accolades aside, Grace is just a great person. She has done so much for our, for our school and has been so humbled about it. These are the kind of traits that I know will continue to bring her success as she embarks on her post-secondary journey, studying kinesiology at York University. Grace, while you're coming to your end uh, of your time at Polanyi, you'll always be a Jaguar. It is an honor to present you with this award. Congratulations. What's up Jaguars, Coach Sura here. I'm um, just here to talk about the Senior Male Athlete of the Year. Um, this is a guy that I've coached uh, many times throughout the years. Um, I've had him in my classes and he's just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, and uh, it's not only about his character, it's about what he gives and how hard he works in athletics. Um, you know, working hard in practice uh, with whatever sport he's uh, involved in. Um, he's just the, you know, the overall prototypical athlete. Any, any sport that he puts his mind to, he will excel at. And uh, that was evident this year when he um, went out for volleyball for the, for the first time and, uh, and then continued to leading uh, our school in uh, basketball. Um, and I knew he was going to be involved in other sports in the, in the upcoming spring. That unfortunately didn't happen, but um, senior male overall athlete of the year this year goes to uh, New Tush Dixon. Um, congratulations, man. Uh, you know, don't stop what you're doing. Keep pushing. And I really hope you continue athletics uh, after JPCI. Go Jaguars. All right, Jaguars. That's it. We've come to the end of our show. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. And most importantly, took part in Polanyi Athletics in the fall and winter. The same goes to our coaches. We will always be indebted to your enthusiasm and passion for sport. As I sign off, I'd like to wish everyone a great summer. Stay safe, stay active, know that we miss you, and can't wait to see you all soon. Jaguars forever. Take care, everybody.